Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're going to be talking about how to enable Bluetooth on Windows 10. So before we get going, uh, first thing we need to check if you actually have Bluetooth capability on your Windows 10 or Windows 7 machine. Now to check that, uh, if you have Windows 7, Windows 8 or 10 machine, simply click on start menu and type in device manager and go ahead and uh, hit enter and that will open up this device. Uh, this prompt <clears throat> or what else you can do right click on the start menu on Windows 10 <clears throat> and simply go to device manager either way it works now once you're here if you see this Bluetooth icon right here as you see there is there's uh, Marwall uh, Bluetooth radio adapter that's installed on my machine now if you do see that here great if you don't see that stay till end of the video and I'll show you what to do if you have Bluetooth uh, that was shipped with your provider now if you have it installed great and if it's if it has a yellow explanation mark what you can do is right click on this and click on update driver uh, and search automatically and it'll, it'll find the driver and install it if if the if the device if it does not show up automatically then as i said stay uh stick to the end of the video so uh so if you see that there to enable that there's two simple ways go ahead and click on this uh, chat box kind of icon and as you see this bluetooth icon you can simply tap on that or uh, go ahead and click on your start menu and type in Bluetooth uh, and that would open up the settings and you can you can get get to that or another way you can do that is go ahead and click on start menu again and type on uh, type in settings and once you see the settings app go ahead and click on settings app go to devices and then go to um, Bluetooth okay so once you see that go you can go ahead and turn it on here once you turn on the bluetooth if you go back to the chat icon as you see it's it's on here again so either you can do it from here or here um now if you want to connect a mouse or something like that and, and then what you need to do is go, go ahead and click on add a, a bluetooth device i have a, a logitech mouse i'm going to add so i'm going to go ahead and click on add mouse and there's a uh, on the bottom of my mouse there's a connect icon on the mouse i'm just simply going to press that as you see that mouse appeared so i simply clicked on that and it's now connecting to the mice okay so it says it's ready to go uh you should be able to use the device so as you see right here somewhere there's that mice coming online and i'm using that as you see i'm not using my pad anymore now if that uh, if that device manager does not show uh, what's uh, your bluetooth device here's something you can do uh, first thing we can go to is manufacturer's website and check for drivers uh, and install them now how do you do that if let's say for example you have if you have hp's laptop uh, then you basically can go to this website if you have dell's laptop you can go to this website if you have any other laptops <clears throat> like lenovo or Toshi, toshiba simply just type in uh, your model number um, or uh, you know hp support on google and you know website like this would pop up and right here simply just put in your serial number of the device on your on their support page and hit search now serial numbers are found on the bottom of the device usually they're uh, uh, labeled as sn or sometimes you may have to take out the battery to find out the serial number but once you find that go ahead and hit submit and look for the uh, look for the uh, device and drivers and go ahead and click on that and then search for bluetooth and uh, see go ahead and install that driver uh, and so once you install the drivers go ahead and restart the machine and check this setting again so if, if that uh, if that setting shows up then you can just follow it again and and enable bluetooth but again if that does not show, show up again you can contact call your manufacturer and say hey did this machine ship with bluetooth if they said yes then then again you need to look for that drivers uh if not then simply you just don't have bluetooth capabilities that were shipped with the machine Again, guys, also there's other videos on this channel that you guys can check out completely free how to install a vast antivirus for free, how to create a, a Windows 10 bootable USB that you can clean install US Windows 10 on your machine completely free and also how to turn off Windows Update uh, uh, on Windows 10 completely free. So make sure you guys don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, do leave the comments in the comment section below. I will be responding to all the comments or any of the questions that you guys be posting. Again, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, have a fantastic day and leave the question in the comment section below. Thank you. Bye-bye.